channel. Thank you for popping in again. I'm Melanie with Little Foot Farms and I wanted to start today's video not out in the coop, not out in the big pen, but right here where all the waiting is happening. So this is our new incubator and I've used one previously, the styrofoam one, and it worked really good, but I wanted to get a new one and I just want to show you a little bit about our incubator and how it's working and a couple changes that we made to it. All right, so right now our temperature and our humidity is running really, really close to target. It does have a battery backup, but we don't have very many um, power failures or outages in our area. We don't have brownouts and stuff like that. In Alberta, we've got pretty consistent electricity um, but if you do have those in your area, you're going to want to use your battery backup. So the kit came with a drip system, which my other incubator didn't have. And it had this little cup, you fill it up and there's a little spout here. And that would connect to an IV drip tube system. Now we were going through quite a bit of water in our area it's fairly dry in the winter so that is something i didn't quite keep in mind when originally i thought this little blue cup would be sufficient so what i did was there was a little let's see it was like a squirt bottle that it came with with a pointed tip what i did was i stuck it on the inside of the cap of an old milk jug that's been rinsed out and cleaned out upside down so that is our water feeding system for that. And let me just, since everything's going so good, why don't we just open it up? All right. So eggs are in, they're doing great. They're marked, we've been watching. They have been turning. Let's give it a turn here and just show you. It's a slow turn. There they go. So it should do almost a full turn around. I think I've adjusted it so it will do a full turn, if not a little bit more. We haven't candled any of these yet as far as growth. It's only day, it says day three on here, but midday it, it'll turn to day four. So that was a little bit of a turn. I know a hen will turn her eggs 50 to 60 times a day because she's either on or off or repositioning, scooching the eggs um, to a better position. And I just want to reassure you guys that, yes, this is life, but at the same time, nature does nature. The eggs that are viable that will hatch will hatch and those that aren't won't. And it's the same thing when a hen is sitting on them she can actually tell partway through which ones are going to hatch and which ones won't. And we've had hens abandon a nest after only half the eggs hatch. And she just knows not to sit there anymore. There's no sense in wasting her time sitting on eggs that just won't hatch. And I've checked the eggs after and sure enough, the chick either didn't um, develop or it had died in the pipping process or she has squished it. So nature is nature. I don't want you to get all concerned about keeping that temperature exactly where it is. Like this is optimum and this machine will do its best. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I had that water about half full yesterday and it's doing its little drip thing. It's staying really close to target and I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share our progress. Day four of eggs in the incubator, it takes 21 days. And here we go. I'm gonna head out and do chores. So next time you see my wonderful face, I'll be outside. Finally remembered to grab the trail camera that's going in the coop. On at the pig pen. Hi babies. Well don't try and jump right there. 
Um, so I don't have my stand, still can't find it. So I'm gonna try and put you guys in the fence here. And hopefully, oh, I was just shocking myself with the electric fence. There we go. I hear you. I hear you, Charlotte. All right, so I just brought down the water. I am going. Okay, here we are again. I am gonna have to use my presentation voice and probably today when I go to town, I gotta look for some sort of mic system, Bluetooth. Headphones that work better than these. Are those bubbles? It's piggies drinking <laughs> and talking. All right, so I'm gonna go and get the feed from the top of the stairs. off so we don't shock ourselves again. Hey, let's not shock ourselves again. Hi, baby. You can find your other dish. See one. See one dish. Well, this is going to be fun today, you guys. One dish. So we'll do a slow feed. It looks like they were trying out the nipple system because it's turned a little bit. Well, that's good. go in there. Take a closer look. Nice warm water in with their food. Whoop, they like that. They like it like that. Hey go Daisy. Okay Charlotte, where's your other dish? Took a little bit of hay out of their hut. I'm gonna just put it in their poop corner to help when the snow melts and everything starts to get soft, it will help with breaking everything down and then putting it out for manure to break down in the compost pile. I, I rummaged around in there. I did not find that other dish. And I don't want to disturb the renovations too much. I already had to steal some. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Last night there was a cougar in the area and you could hear it quite a ways from the house, but they are loud and eerie. The animals all did really good. Nobody got scared. Nobody got attacked. The dogs ended up getting put in their run just for safety and so they can be close to the chickens. When we were moving the pigs from this paddock out to the garden this fall, Followed 
bag of feet, surprisingly enough. Or not a bag, a, a pail. Took them a little bit to kind of figure out what was going on. buildings they've never seen and the dogs being out at first that did kind of startle them but all they did was turn around and come back to where they knew was safe so that was pretty cool and then we took them a couple at a time when they would go put them in the pen in the garden come back get the more timid ones shake the pail shake the pail all the way up the hill all the way to the garden and same thing on the way back they didn't all come as a herd, but they did follow the pail. So they do like that shaky sound. I'm just gonna add the rest of this water to the big heated pet dish. Well, that's full. Cool. Okay, now the rest to the big black barrel. Okay, sweet. That's almost all their food. That's 12 cups. I mix the hog grower and and the cob together today. safe to do these movements. We pet them, I'm able to touch their ears, their snout, their feet, their tail, and they're okay with being pet and tickled and move their arms, or, or not arms, their legs around, but they have not been rolled and relaxed on the back. So, if I get to it today, that is my goal. I'm gonna head up to the chicken coop, feed them water and chickens, I'm going to be putting a little bit of wallpaper on one of my shelves just to pretty it up a little bit more. And then if I have time, I'll come back down. Thanks for watching. All right. In the chicken coop. You can kind of see the tidying I did yesterday. Heat lamps are hung up, shelves up. The low shelf were ooh, right, nope, right here gonna be the one I'm gonna put um, a little bit of wallpaper on I know pretty cute crazy chicken lady <laughs> um, chickens are so happy this morning Rocky's in his cage he looks so happy he was drinking earlier when I was in here now he's just sitting off to the corner looking out at everybody I'll take I see we've got some eggs his little brown hen little red hen Please say hi. Say hi. Little red hen, little red hen. Hey. All right, I see three, four, six eggs. Yes, six eggs. Six. And I've got a hen sitting on in the box right now. Frankie's watching from her perch. These guys have lots of food left. Yes, you do. Water looks good. So they are pretty much perfect in here. Um, you see me still? I'm gonna grab one more scoop of food just to be safe. Cause I did top them up at the end of the day yesterday. They'll be going out in the big run today. I accidentally dumped some food out there so they can go and clean that up. Oh, and four more eggs where that hen was sitting. I am so happy, so happy. Grocery store the other day, was it yesterday? No, 
day before yesterday, grocery store, free range eggs, almost $8 per dozen. When we have an abundance, we do have a poll list and we do sell eggs from the farm, five bucks a dozen. I think that's a fair price. They're in and out, kind of free range. Um, well loved chickens. Um, but I am so happy that they're laying again. To me, if they're not laying, they're not super happy. I don't know. I know they don't really have a choice and they have to lay an egg, but if I can do whatever I can do <laughs> to make them a little happier and lay more eggs, I will do it. Like making them a pretty cute. Anyway, so I'm going to do a time lapse of hello, right hand. The shelf wallpapering. <laughs> Somebody's pecking my shoe. I don't know where my stand is. So if you saw in a video where I set my stand down somewhere, <laughs> you probably didn't see it. Um, so I can't put you guys wherever I want today. So wherever I can find a spot for you, that's where you'll be. And stay tuned. I'll show you a picture <laughs> after. It's all done. All right guys, so I don't know if it's gonna work. It's so cold in here, I think the adhesive just isn't gonna stick. And he didn't prep it, I didn't paint it. It's gonna be what it is. So if I can get it to warm up and get a bit of a stick on and it stays, then good. That's all I care about. Um, most of it is sticking, but yeah, as soon as I put it down, it wasn't super liking it. And I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time. I just want to peel and stick, peel and stick and be done. So I'm going to let it warm up a little bit and I'm going to stay with this warm my fingers and just see if I can get it to go. If I can, I will continue the time lapse. If not, I'll just drop a picture and going, mm. oh well, you got to try. While I'm waiting for that to stay warm or warm up, I gathered eggs and we got 10 eggs today. One was dirty. It's not staying with us. It's gonna go to the dogs. Um, for the most part, those hen boxes are A plus. All right, I'll be back again. All right guys, so the heat lamp worked quite a bit, um, but I have resulted to doing a spray adhesive and then the wallpaper on top. I know it doesn't all match to the edge. This board wasn't even cut straight, not a big deal. I have barely enough to cover it. So I swept it off, wiped it off, spray adhesive, let that get tacky, spray it again, put the sticky wallpaper on and it's working all right. I like the color and it's gonna keep um, anything that I put on here on a decent surface instead of just on the wood. So yeah, I'll drop a picture right after it's all done. <laughs> 